hello everyone welcome back to a new video on my channel here if you're new here my name is katie and i have just moved into this studio that i've put together and and decorated and designed from basically an empty room i moved from a salon into my own studio here and i wanted to share and document the process with you guys so I am going to be sharing some like little clips and things that we did to basically turn this room into my own little nail studio. I'm so excited to share this journey with you guys. If you have been with me for you know five years or so when I was like just painting nails in like my little spare bedroom like and now I have my own studio it's just crazy so this is gonna be part one of that journey because I have so much footage it'd be like hours and hours and hours so I'm probably gonna break it up into little sections so this is gonna be part one and I hope you guys enjoy So here I am just packing up all of my stuff in the old space and honestly this part can get like pretty overwhelming just because when you're a nail tech or you do nails it's like a ton of little stuff and it's like stuff that you don't want to like tip upside down or anything like that so it's just like a ton of little stuff and I feel like the more you pull out stuff it's like Oh my goodness the more you realize you have like it doesn't you don't notice you have so much until you start moving it all so then there is the room all finally emptied and we just have some little like straggler boxes and like random things to pack and then here is the new room totally empty this is what it looked like when I moved in they had some furniture in there already that they had just used for like staging to show people so the furniture got moved out it's not mine but this is what the room looked like when I first moved in. So I knew I wanted to paint and I wanted to paint one wall pink. So I went to Home Depot and I got like a couple little samples of some pinks and painted them on the wall. They looked pretty similar, but in different lighting, I could kind of tell the difference. And I ended up going, I think with that top one is what we ended up going with, but I had this pillow and it matched the pillow like perfectly the pillow was kind of like my inspiration for the room i'm feeling like it's gonna be that one just because it's like the hint it's just like the tiniest bit warmer so it just looks a little bit more mature looking than the yeah. other one so the walls that started out this like I want to say it's like an olive beige color. You'll see in like a different video how it kind of looks like right there. It's like pulling really olive color. And so that had to go. Um, I wanted to paint one wall pink and then the rest I just wanted white. I wanted it to mostly be white just because of how much brighter it would make the room and for filming and stuff like that I just wanted to keep it as bright as possible but have the one accent wall so first I had to start taping everything off to get it ready to be painted. Also don't mind like the bottoms of my dirty feet because I was totally walking around barefoot. <laughs> At least once it's all taped it's pretty much just a square. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. It's not really that much like it just makes it more difficult that the ceilings are like 10 foot tall. Yeah. Yeah, so these walls are like 9 feet tall, 8 feet tall, somewhere around there. They're pretty tall, so it was kind of a pain to paint the room just because we had to make sure and get a ladder every time, and it was hard to reach all the way to the top at times. And also, it was just really hard to cover this color. I wasn't expecting it. We did get paint that had primer in it, but it was just really hard to get like an even nice coverage over this color, and we ended up having to do three coats of the white and three coats of the pink in order to cover this like olive beigey color it was just like no matter what I felt like you could see it through the paint and it was driving me crazy so it was a lot of work to do the painting
I am super thankful for my husband and anyone else who helped me in this process. Uh, my husband's always been like super supportive of kind of things that I want to do and my career and I just love him for that. So I, you know, I kept telling him like, I'm so sorry, like your weekends off of work, you have to be here helping me, but he's the best. So I really appreciate having someone who's that supportive to help me. So once it was all painted, then we went to Ikea to get some other like storage solutions. So these are those Alex drawers that everybody has and loves for just storing nail products. I wanted to get another bigger Alex drawer unit. Just love walking through Ikea. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't break it. So this first thing that we put together, which is the Lilangin, I would pronounce it, but maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, it's this really tall, skinny cabinet, which is going on the right side of the sink. I wanted something by the sink that I could use for like cleaning supplies, my disinfectant, all that stuff. So I can kind of have it, you know, like a little station near the sink that would be super easy to do all of my disinfecting and cleaning and all that. So I made sure and took all measurements of all sides of the rooms and like in between the sink and the wall and everything so that I knew when I went to Ikea what would fit there. So this fit like perfectly. I think this was the only thing that actually fit, but it fit so perfectly on that right side of the sink. It was perfect, awesome, exactly what I was looking for. So, you know, it was time to put it together, which Ikea stuff can always be a hassle. I feel like it's always like a puzzle every time. I kind of I kind of enjoy putting Ikea things together. I think it's kind of fun, but then there's always a moment where it is not fun. So, uh, definitely took some a couple hours to put all this stuff together. Now here we're putting that larger Alex drawer unit together. I already have one, but I wanted a second one uh, just to kind of have a little bit more room and some room to grow as well. So putting that together and then that's gonna sit behind me. Once those were put together, I was missing like one thing for that tall skinny cabinet. So we had to wait on that. So that's why it's not on the wall yet, but this is what it looks like. And um, so after this was all done, it was ready to start bringing in like the other furniture. And I find when I'm moving spaces, like I can't really bring over like my stuff stuff until I'm completely done seeing clients at the other location. So I had to be completely done with my clients over there before I could actually start moving the stuff over to the new space. So it was just like boxes and boxes of stuff. And honestly, for a minute, I was like really worried that my room was gonna be like too small. When I saw all the boxes, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to fit all this stuff in here. But once, you know, everything got put in their place and the boxes were out of the room, it totally kind of 
fell into place and worked a lot better. But again, um, I had family there helping me to put up the shelves and then I also got a neon sign. So putting those up, it was so nice to have them help me because I honestly, if I had to do it myself, it would have taken me like all day just to do one thing. So this is where the shelves are gonna go, which is directly behind me. And the shelves are from Ikea as well. They are picture ledges and they're called Moss Landa. So I'll make sure and have everything linked in the description box below. So at the old place, I had five shelves directly stacked on top of each other behind me. But for the new space, I purchased one more shelf so that I could have two next to each other like one long row so I had th so now I have three long rows so six shelves total instead of five stacked on top of each other and I actually really like this how it turned out and like how it looks and how it functions and everything For the neon sign, I purchased it at customneon.com. I will put that in the description box. And it was super easy to do. You can type in whatever kind of saying that you want. You can select how big you want it, what color you want it to be, the font. They have a whole bunch of different things that you can like customize and create your own neon sign. I think they also have some ones that you can like pre-made ones that you can select. And I think total, it took about three weeks or a month to get from when I ordered it. So I made sure I had ordered it like a month ago as soon as I knew that this was happening. So I absolutely love the neon sign. I feel like it kind of like makes the space. It just like adds that extra pop to the space and it's super bright. It also comes with like a dimmer switch. So definitely recommend custom neon if you're looking for a neon sign. So then it was time to get stuff put away. Mostly like I probably prioritize like the most important things like my polishes my colors things that needed to be put away because I was actually seeing my clients like the very next day and I was like oh my goodness I have to get all like the really important stuff put away so that I'm ready to see my clients this week Okay, so this is the progress so far and I'm gonna kind of like walk you guys through what's going on here. Tomorrow is my first day with clients here. So it's done enough that I can see clients, but it's not all the way done. So I just thought I'd like walk you through really quick and I will do a like full tour inside and out, all the drawers, everything once it's actually done. So that might be a little bit later, but this is just kind of like the process of showing you guys, you know, all the stuff that we had to do to get it ready. So we have my desk here in the middle and we have a nice green. I wanted green to match like the plants. The theme is kind of like, you know, girly jungle, that type of a theme. Cause I love leopard print and I'm starting to love plants. I'm becoming a new plant person. So I am not, a seasoned plant lady yet. 
but so I got this green chair and actually the whole theme of the room started with this pillow because I just kind of had this idea and I saw this pillow and I was like, oh my gosh, that pillow is like everything that I ever wanted my room to look like. So I got the pillow like months ago, like at least six months ago. And I've just been saving this pillow and now it finally has its home. We got some boxes of stuff here that still need to be put away. We got my sink, um, some art that I need a picture frame for. I put all my retail products up here. This is a long cabinet from Ikea and I'm using it for like my cleaning supplies, disinfectant, paper towels, towels, all sorts of different stuff. I'll probably kind of reorganize it as I go. So then I've got all of my polish racks here and this lovely neon sign from Custom Neon and two Alex drawers, like the bigger drawers. Now... You'll notice there are different heights. This one over here has the wheels on the bottom. This one doesn't. And so next time I go to Ikea, which is going to be probably in like two days, three days, I'm going to make sure and grab some extra wheels so I can add wheels to the bottom of this one. So they will be the same height, but for now they're not. Plant over here. This is like a plant light and it has this like really pretty pinkish purple glow that kind of matches the neon signs. So nice kind of glow here. I got my TV watching some Guardians of the Galaxy while I put stuff away. Um, and then this side is kind of the side that needs some help. So I've been waiting for a cabinet. It's actually like a TV stand, but it's from Ikea. It's white. It's actually called the Besta cabinet or TV stand, but it's almost the length of this entire window. I don't think it's quite I think, you know, I think it's like a couple inches shorter on each side, but it's almost the length of the window and it's probably going to be about like this tall or something. And it's skinny. It's only like 16 inches wide this way. So it's going to sit there and then I'll have room and extra storage for some of this extra stuff that I have. And you'll see I have a cute little mini pink fridge as well. So that's what this is kind of like waiting for. And it's been out of stock they told me when I called them it would be back in stock tomorrow. So this first week of clients, it's not going to be totally done because I just can't get that cabinet that I've been like waiting for, for pretty much like a month. I've got extra stuff that is going to go in there. So I'm waiting for that cabinet. Now this set of Alex drawers is what I used at my previous space for my pedicures so I put all my pedicure stuff in it and then when I'm doing my pedicure I actually put my tools and stuff on the top so that I kind of work like use this kind of like as a desk area to work off of when I'm doing my pedicure but once I got all the stuff in here it's just too big like once I have this cabinet this cabinet's going to take up this whole room or this whole like wall underneath the window and these drawers, I was thinking of putting them like over here next to the pedicure chair, but it's just too big. It's too much. It's just way overcrowding the space. So I think once this cabinet comes, I'm going to also look for so some sort of like smaller storage cabinet thing that I can use for pedicures that's not this big. So I'm going to go to Home Goods, I think, today. And then I also am going to... If I don't find anything at Home Goods, I'm going to look at Ikea and see if I see anything at Ikea that would work. I'm sure they have something because um, this is just too big. So this is probably going to go home and I will find something smaller that can fit in this area and that will like hide these cords also so that when I'm doing a pedicure, I can just sit right here and have like my little kind of table and storage, pedicure storage right there. But so this is going to go and I'm going to have a nice cabinet right here that's going to hide all this other stuff as well as the stuff in here. I actually, some of this stuff needs to go in this cabinet, but because I'm going to put the wheels on the bottom of it, I am waiting to fill it up because I'm just going to have to take everything out anyways. This is like pretty much empty because I'm going to wait. So wheels for this, the cabinet over here. And then also on this wall, I'm going to have art 
and some other decorations on the walls but honestly it's just been like insane and i feel like every single day off i have i've been here and i've been here till like midnight and like working on stuff so the art honestly has been kind of put on the back burner while i'm just trying to get this more important stuff done since i'm gonna see clients soon tomorrow less than 24 hours less than 12 hours so I will be putting some art over here. I actually ordered some art from another nail tech who does these beautiful illustrations, like di digital illustrations. I just, I haven't figured out exactly where I'm gonna put them, but obviously this wall is blank. So there's gonna be lots of art. I honestly wanted this space to be very creative and fun and inspire, you know, art. And it's like, you know, I work, go to work and I create art every single day. So I just wanted it to be fun and exciting and I just wanted to look, be able to look around the room and be inspired by what I see. So this wall is definitely going to have some art. And then when I'm sitting there, I'll be able to look at the art and maybe if I'm feeling lack of inspiration, maybe something will pop into my head. But, and then I was also thinking right here of putting like a full length mirror, something not too big. Cause I, again, I don't want to like clutter up this space because I feel like I already have a lot going on and then also I have tons of plants at home like I seriously feel like I have like 10 or 15 plants at home and that is waiting for this cabinet also because I kind of want it to be like a jungle in here so once this cabinet comes I'm gonna have lots of plants on it as well so it's just gonna be like super jungly fun I definitely need to find some more leopard print stuff to put in here I think it's gonna be really really exciting and fun so Yep, yeah. gonna go to Home Goods today and then IKEA in a couple days. Okay, that TV stand from IKEA finally came in stock. I wanna say it was like three to four weeks later. So I had gone a while with just these like boxes in my room and it was driving me crazy. It finally came in stock. I went immediately to the IKEA got it and then like by the end of the day it was out of stock again so I imagine there was a lot of people waiting for it so thankfully I was able to snag one so it worked out really really nicely for this space and I was able to store it, a lot of stuff it holds a lot of stuff in there so you know even like back stock like gloves and files and all sorts of that stuff can fit in here so I did end up again just like throwing stuff in there just because it was late at night I was so tired I had clients the next day so I just like threw everything in there and I really need to go and pull everything back out and actually like do some legit organization inside of the cabinet but the cabinet worked out really well and it was definitely worth the wait but hopefully if you are looking for something like this you don't have to wait a month for it to come in. So I'm going to end this video here and stay tuned for part two, a little bit more of like the decor and organization and putting away products in all the drawers and different things like that. So make sure to like if you enjoyed this type of video and I will also be posting like a full official tour eventually once it's completely done and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video and stay tuned for part two. Thanks for watching.